Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And here we are at our brand new spot that we bought last time, the old Verdant Meadows Open Ass Air Desert Airport slash uh, Airplane Graveyard spot that mysteriously, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around this, that we bought this entire property for only eighty thousand dollars, <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not going to complain about it because it didn't really take any chunks out of my any, out of my funds, but it's just weird. So before we can do any more missions with uh, with what's his jizz, we got to learn how to fly first, and so that is where we sit right now. We were actually doing really well up until we got to this one. <laughs> this one gave me no end of trouble, and it didn't really occur to me until I started reading the comments in my last video. But we were doing it wrong the whole time. I totally didn't notice that when we were taking off, I was totally forgetting to uh, retract the landing gear, and so I wasn't able to, like, you know, climb up to proper altitude the right way. And so I was sitting here, like, flying around in circles trying to gain enough, uh, enough height to be able to go, and then I was just taking too much time, and I was getting scores like, like, zero or eight or whatever, and so it was not good. But now it looks like everything's going to be exponentially easier, so... We'll just, uh, as soon as I can, uh, I'll probably be a little bit shaky trying to catch my, my controls again here, but we'll, we'll be alright. So, to all of, to all of the mothers out there, I hope that you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. I actually had to work on Mother's Day today, uh, but I still got to do some nice stuff for my mom, though. I told her, uh, this morning that I'd wake up at, at like, 8 o'clock, and then I'd, I'd go with her to, uh, to church at, uh, 9.30. Uh, that's like one of her her big big things is that she just like she wants to be able to have the the whole family go to church on uh, on Sunday because half of us have to work and the other half don't so it's like very rare when that actually gets to happen. Holy shit, that was a lot easier. Oh, Ty, we got our pilot's license. Awesome. So wait, is there more? Or was that that can't I can't imagine that was it. We only did just a couple of these. Oh yeah, okay. There's totally more. I knew there was gonna be more here. <laughs> I'm not trying to have that guy call me up and be like, You didn't do all the missions I wanted to do, you worthless piece of shit. <laughs> I'm, not e I'm not even going to give him the chance to insult me. We're just going to keep rolling here. Especially now that I now that I feel comfortable with, uh, with my flying prowess here. Yeah, we're going to be good now. Okay, so... No, oh, yeah, dude, I, I, I got myself into trouble, though. Like, I didn't get to bed until, like, 2 in the morning because I was up, you know, really late doing that, that Half-Life marathon last night, those a couple episodes that <laughs> took, you know, over about an hour and a half apiece to render. So I was up really late, and so when I got up this morning, I was like, Oh, God. Who turned me into a zombie and didn't tell me? This is really bad. <laughs> and so I'm sitting here thinking, oh god, I really hope I wake up during this because I'm not trying to have my mom think that you know I'm like not interested and I'm falling asleep over this. Especially because this place, like, they it almost reminds me of being inside of like an airplane because they do like the same thing where like they're pumping in all that super cold air and it feels like it's just recirculated, like the same type of like those little airplane ACs, those little tiny ones that are in your in like your aisle and they just like they make you feel really uncomfortable and it's that awkward level of temperature and it like makes your eyes all dry like that's the that shit happens to me every time I go and and it's always whoa no oh no we're gonna blow we're not gonna blow okay <laughs> all right apparently we were flying fast enough to put the fire out come on come on come on get a wing in there get a wing in there Hans yeah <laughs> We got it! That's, uh, that's... I'm surprised. 19% damage was enough to light the thing on fire, huh? Alright, whatever. Helicopter takeoff. Wow, okay. Well, so what is it? Just rising up in the air? Is that all it is? I, I gotta imagine there's more to it than that. If you can push the... If you can push the A button for long enough, you're gonna complete it. <laughs> but whatever. So... Yeah, dude, it was it was awful. Like I was just I was trying so hard to like not make it look like I was falling asleep just because my eyes were so damn irritated. Like I'm gonna have to go in there next time with, with like sunglasses on. Like, and but then people are gonna look at me all weird because they're gonna think that I'm that I have like a fucking hangover or something. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I was hoping that's what they were gonna want me to do. I mean, that they had me, they had me, you know, turning around. I was like, all right, I guess they're gonna have me fly to something. So. All right, well, that was easy. <laughs> I hope the rest of them are really easy like that, but I can't imagine they will be. Oh, now it's just landing. 
Well, that can't be that bad. I mean, if it's <laughs> if it's anywhere is if it's anywhere near as easy as just you know doing what I just did, this won't be so bad. But yeah, so there's. Well, let me get this off my chest. There are two things about church that I can't stand outside of the whole recirculated air, you know, drying out my eyes thing. There are always two people that I'm that you run into no matter what. Every single time you go to church, like it's it's a guarantee. And I ran into both of them today, and I was just I was not happy about it. That was really easy. So there's always and I had one of them sitting right in front of me, and I had one of them right behind me. Holy shit! Oh my god, we're blowing up semis today, really? Tight. All right, let's do it. Destroy the three trucks at the end of the runway. So how are we gonna do that? Are we all equipped with weapons and whatnot, or what? Um, how about you tell me? Is that what 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 do we? All right, which one's what? Oh, sick. Okay, those are the rockets. Okay, and that's that's the gun. All right, this is this is gonna be good. I got an idea. Let's just unload everything we got. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh boy. Let them have it all! Okay, wow, that was... That was awesome. I hope nobody driving by noticed all of that complete and utter destruction that was going on. Oh no, they're moving cars. Dude, that's gonna be a nightmare in this thing. But yeah, so, okay, so there's, there's always the same two people that you're gonna run into virtually any given church service that you go to. And so for me, it's, well, for everybody actually. So the, these two people, there's always overly demonstrative, uh, overly demonstrative arms lady. Uh, the lady that, you know, she gets, uh, she gets like way too excited. And like, look, I'm not going to sit here and say you can't, that you can't, you know, wor uh, you know, worship a certain way. But you've got, you've got to, you got to take it easy. Like this lady, what she was doing is, no matter what, pace of song this was, even if it was like a slower one, like this lady, she's got her arms up there, waving them around like she's at a fucking rave or something, and like, it was, and even if it was like a really slow one, she's still doing the same exact thing, and then she's also, like, every once in a while, she's doing like these crazy, like, 90s R&B, like, R. Kelly, like, passionate, like, you know, like, almost like grinding, like, fist pump type of things going on, it was so awkward. I'm just sitting here like, God, I don't need to be seeing this right now. This is not cool. And, like, they would play a lot of songs, so I had to put up with that a lot. Okay, loop the loop. What the hell is loop? Oh, God, we're going to be we're gonna be doing one of these? Oh, boy. Boy, I hope we're going, I hope we're going to be going fast enough. Press and hold Joy 2 to maintain your height, keep the plane level, and head for the first Corona. Okay. So, so the other lady is the lady that has no volume control, and she doesn't realize how tone deaf she is. Like this lady. Oh, oh, I I get it. He said push down. So I thought he meant I thought it meant like actually like push down, not like a uh, or like actually like go downwards towards the runway. I didn't realize that's what they were talking about. All right, let's see if we can do it. Oh God, we're already off center. I didn't mean to do that. You job. Oh my god, we lived! Hey! Oh, no, 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 no! No! No, no! Oh god, we're out of control! Barrel rolls all over the place! Oh no! And Carl's dead. I mean, mail my last check to the P.O. box, I guess. Send it off to the missus, because we're not coming home. <laughs> but yeah, dude, this lady, she was like... Her voice was so flat, dude. Like, oh, it was awful. It was, it was like, it was about as flat as a piece of fucking construction paper, man. It was a nightmare. And, like, but she's one of those, like, she thought that she was fucking Celine Dion. Like, she thought that she was just, you know, the world's greatest and that there was no one better in this entire building than she was. And she was just trying to belt that shit out. And she's just like, oh, Jesus. And she's, like, trying to put all that extra flair on it. Like, trying to, you know, do that whole thing. And I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, first of all, A, you're way too loud. Like, tone it down a little bit. And B, like, you need to realize that you are not as good as you think you are. Like, you need to chill. And the worst part was is that she was there with her husband, and he wasn't saying a word. Like, he was just like, he was just like, whatever. I mean, I'm sure he's probably put up with it for a long time, but, I mean, I'm surprised he wasn't just like... Karen, come on! Like, tone it down a little bit. People are staring. Like, my brother was looking over at me every once in a while. He's just like, dude, 
weird in this right now? Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, does she not realize? And, oh, it was just a nightmare. And, like, again, they play a lot of songs, so that's something that you gotta, you gotta deal with that for a while. Like, it wasn't just, you know, like, you know, one two-minute hymn here, and then, like, another two-minute one here. Like, some of those songs were, like, almost four minutes long. Yo! Oh. What did we do wrong? Okay, so head for the first Corona. I don't really... What do they want me to do here? As soon as you hit the Corona, hold A. Hold A? I'm doing that. What the hell are you talking about? Which one is A? I mean, I'm, I'm holding A. What, like, on the keyboard? Is that what you're wanting me to do? We can't be doing this weird coexist stuff. This is not, this is not a bumper sticker. Alright? We, we cannot coexist joystick and then this. That's exactly what they wanted me to do. You've got to be kidding me! Dude, how can you expect me to control all this stuff at once? That's insane! I'm sitting here trying to control this damn thing this way while hitting the keyboard at the same time. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> You've be kidding me right now. So yeah, dude, that, that in itself was the nightmare. But after that, um, we decided to go out and get some coffee. And, uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. I can't. Oh, damn it. I lost control of it. Son of a bitch. We had it. We totally had it. I was, I was doing it. You know, everything was fine, but no. So after that, we decided to go out and get coffee, and, uh, so we're all we're all sitting there at these these comfortable little uh, little recliner type chairs, and uh, my dad starts telling the story about this uh, about his experience going to uh, going to Walgreens yesterday. So so my the backstory: my dad has poison oak right now, and he's had it for like a couple of weeks. Like it's getting really gross. He was uh, he was like doing some work over at, over at his apartment complex that he owns, and he didn't realize that he was dealing with some poison oak bushes and stuff, and he ended up getting a whole bunch of splotchy stuff all over him. And uh, so now that he's had it for a couple of weeks, now he's trying to actually get rid of it. Now that he knows that he actually has it, and so uh, really, God, we're actually playing Pilot Wings right now. Like that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> this is Grand Theft Auto Pilot Wings edition. Oh my god, dude, this would be the most nerve-wracking thing. Like, this this is something I am never, that I'm never going to do. Oh god. Dude, there's no way we're going to get all the way over to that thing. Oh god. Like, they want me to get all the way into that Corona over here? Oh, no, you know what, we, we can probably still get there. Yeah. At least we might be able to get there. Come on. Come on, we gotta... I, I don't feel like I'm doing this right at all. So, yeah, so my dad goes over to Walgreens. Uh, my grandma told him about this uh, this cream that he could get over there that he can put on for uh, for his stuff. And so he goes over there, and he's he's getting ready to check out, and then this uh, this lady comes over, and uh, and she's, uh, she's you know, saying... She's saying, uh, hey, you've, uh, you've got poison oak. And he's uh, he's like, yeah, I know. That's that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm getting this stuff for that. And she's like, uh, my well, my husband's a logger, and uh, and uh, fifty three. Damn it! All right, let's try it again. I mean, we could probably uh, we could probably do this a lot better than we did last time, just because I know what I'm doing now. But yeah, she's uh, she's like, she's like, well, yeah, my, my husband's a logger. He he uh, he had, uh, he he used the same one for poison oak. Actually, and he's like, well, good. And then, like, as he's just about ready to check out, this lady starts, uh, she starts telling him a story. She's like, she's like, yeah, I, uh, I got poison oak once. So, uh, so my, uh, my husband, you know, he, uh, you know, he, he got poison oak and, and he didn't know it. And, uh, then he ended up getting it all over, all over himself. And she's like, you know, like, she's like animating, like, you know, just like rubbing her crotch or whatever. He's like, he got all over himself. And then, uh, and then we ended up having sex. And, uh, and then I ended up getting it all over me, and it got all up in there, you know, and so I didn't really know what to do, and so I had to make, like, this, this solution of, like, of, like, like, uh, 
like a quarter cup of bleach and like and then water and all this stuff you know and uh and so then i had to jam it all up in there you know and that's how i had to treat it and my dad's just sitting here like just jaw agape on the floor and he's just like who are you like what are you and like he's like he, my dad's looking over at the uh <laughs> he's looking over at the guy uh, over at the guy doing the uh, like the, the cashier right there, and he's just looking at him. The guy just looks like he's mortified to living hell. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And uh, oh, it's just so awkward. And he's just like, all right, I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna leave. Oh, it's woozy. Okay, for sure. I like that. Like it? You're gonna love it. It's the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. Oh, cool. We get to go over there soon. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're going to love it when you see it. The, the crazy thing is, I haven't seen it yet. But I never can. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I guess I, I didn't realize we were already sitting at 15 minutes. I guess we can go We can go save for now and then call it good. But yeah, dude, how fucked up is that? Like, you can't be... You can't be... Just like walking up to random strangers, hey, you got poison oak. Well, let me tell you this story about how my husband got poison oak on his penis, and then we had sex, and then I got it all up inside of me, and I had to put bleach in my freaking crocker. It was just not, not a good thing at all. So that's really disgusting. I just, I don't, people are really comfortable talking about their personal stuff sometimes, you know? It's just so weird. But, yeah, man. So, we have run out of time for now, but when we come back on the next episode of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we've got our pilot's license now, and we're all good to go. We're apparently at least marginally efficient in flying just about everything. So, maybe we'll go jump in that plane over there and see what type of missions we can do. Which, uh, speaking of airports, by the way, I went and had a Mother's Day dinner. Uh, we went to this place called the Flight Deck, and it was super awesome. It was actually over at the Salem Airport. It's just like a little tiny airport. Like it used to have, it used to be like a major airport here before, uh, before they started, uh, before you know they decided to not use it as a main one and just use like PDX and the one down in Eugene as the main ones. Um, but they had like this little restaurant out uh, out there, like right by the runway, so you could actually like see planes coming in and out. And like their food was super good, man. I had like a like a blue cheese bacon burger, and uh, I ended up having like this uh, double fudge cake, and it was fucking awesome. Oh my god! But we actually got to see a uh, we actually got to watch a plane uh, get cleared for takeoff and like go all the way down the runway and then go across to one of the other ones and then actually and then actually like leave and take off. It was really cool. I, uh, I I love I love aviation stuff like that, and they had like inside they had like all of these uh, like model airplanes of like different planes from like World War Two and World War One, and uh, and all these and all these crazy things. It was a super tight place. It was the first time I'd ever been there, and it was fucking awesome. However, their food was expensive. My brother and I split the bill for just him, myself, and my mom, and my dad, and it was like seventy nine bucks. <laughs> it was crazy. But, eh, what do you do? It was Mother's Day. It was totally worth it. So, she had a good time. And that's all that matters. So, with that said, my friends, we are... I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bounce out for now. I need to get some sleep. I'm, a, I'm extra tired. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this guy, get it uploaded, and I'm gonna go head off to bed because I did not sleep well last Yo, night. Bye. So, my friends, hope you guys all had a wonderful day. I will talk with you guys next time. Until then, this is AMF saying, if you're in church. Just keep your singing to yourself, <laughs> you know, unless you are Celine Dion and or Luther Vandross, then, uh, you know, then you're, you're all good.